Hey friends, this is Wayne over at the Ram Man Inc. We're going to be back to, I used to say all the time in my videos, I'm an educator first and parts maker second. Uh, this morning we're going to have a little class on practical sense with common sense. Alright, so here we go. We have a, a client that's put on his disc brake kit. And he's talking about how he doesn't have enough room to get his cotter pin in. Now, if you'll notice that that's like about, uh, I don't know, three or four degrees angle. So, obviously, it's very close. It's extremely close to going in. Uh, he's come to a standstill looking for some solutions, doesn't want to start on the other side. Okay, so we've got manufacturers all over the world. We have a spindle here, this distance to that pin distance. And in between there, what have we got? Well, we got this distance on the spindle, and there could be variations by four, five, or ten thousandths from here to here. That's just, you know, normal, right? I mean, we're talking about a spindle. We're not talking about the machine surfaces on the space shuttle. Now we take into account that we've got a rotor that rides there, and it's based on this bearing right here on the inside. So if this is off by three or four thousandths, right, uh, this distance could vary. So so now we've got, we have one variable that could be varied by a little bit. Now we've got two. Now we're going to talk about the race depth and then how the race is. And then what about different brands of bearings? Uh, do you believe that they might be within a thousandth of each other? If you do, you are sorely mistaken. Now we're going to take into account the outside bearing and race. Whether or not it's exact, whether or not the race is in one or two thousandths. So, we've got all these variables that could change just a little bit. It's called uh, manufacturing. And so now what we've got is we've got a bearing on the end and uh, now it could be off by a little bit you got a bearing on the end uh, with the washer right here. Uh, there's one from Help. There's one from Dorman. Now, if you believe that these are all the exact same thickness within a thousandth from all different kinds of manufacturers, you're sorely mistaken. Now we're going to come on to the spindle nuts. If you believe that these are all the exact same thickness, no matter where they come from, within a couple of thousandths, you are sorely mistaken. And then, on top of all that, we put this on, and then it's left up to the person doing the install as to how tight he tightens that nut down. Right? That bearing preload, you know, how easy it can turn. So that's left up to the end user. Now these can change a little bit by half thread or quarter thread or something like that. And then we've got this that goes on the end. Now, if you believe these little stamp things right here, if you believe that they are all the same, no matter where they come from, within a half ten thousandths, you are sorely mistaken. So that goes on like there, and then your keyway goes in. So, I can't get my keyway in. A normal tech will take appropriate drill bit and open that up about five thousandths and be done with it and go on the way. That's a problem. That's how you solve the problem. Now, if you are incapable of that, someone could take a little palm sander 
or any type of sander, not a grinder, just a little low Home Depot $29 one and sand off five thousandths. And I don't know, 60 seconds? And that might solve the problem. Or if you want to do it some more, maybe you could do the washer. There's a whole list of solutions, some easier than others. Another solution is rip everything off and hope for a different spindle that's a little bit different by three or four thousandths. That's one way too. God bless you. God bless America. And happy Moparn.